If you've been playing Timeless, you've seen Grixis. Grixis, Grixis. Grixis is everywhere. It's playing some of the most powerful cards. Ragavan, Dragon's Rage Channeler, Thoughtseize, Brainstorm. But what is the best build of Grixis? This is something that has been obsessing me. We're going to take a look right now today. Let's go. Uh, that's right, Timeless, Grixis, Grixis Aggro. You can definitely build like the classic Grixis control. I'll put a link, um, Krim from MTV, MTV Goldfish built something like that. We're not doing that, okay? We're doing Grixis Lurus. We're gonna try to play very cheap, very effective threats. Be pretty light on land here right now. We're running tr 20 land and uh, <laughs> absolutely nothing that costs more than two mana. Um, this is, I, I literally had a dream the other night and it was like, put in Fatal Push, take out Unholy Heat. <laughs> uh, I've been obsessed with this deck, trying to just adjust the numbers. Um, deck list will be in the description. We might adjust as we go along here today. So deck list will be in the description of what we ended up with. But here's what I'm at, here's where I'm at right now. And the meta is changing so fast. So the different levels of things, um, uh, are changing all the time in this format. So it's it's definitely, you gotta keep on your toes with any deck in the format, but especially Grixis. But what do we know is the core? Four Ragavans, okay? This is the turn one threat du jour in the format. If it's not dealt with, you just run away with the game. So we're running four of those. Four Orc Orcish Bowmasters. Everyone else is running four of them. They're still good. We're definitely going to run four Bowmasters. Four Dragons Rage Channelers. This is, like, kind of our finisher, um, really. we got to keep the board clear enough that we can get through and win with the Dragons Rage Channelers. Although, with the way that people are hitting themselves with the, the fetch lands and the shock lands, you don't have as much damage you have to do to win in this format. Um, this... The, the, the main problem I run into is you got the creature decks, you got other low to the ground decks, you got to be able to deal with your opponent's Ragavans. So you want to have lightning bolts, um, small blockers, fatal pushes, things to deal with that. But then there's people running the Tarmogoyfs, right? So that's why I've switched out fatal push for um, Unholy Heat. Fatal Push can hit a lot of different uh, small creatures. And of course, with fetch lands, we can hit some larger creatures as well. But, like, you know, Shieldreds and things like that. The problem is, <laughs> Unholy Heat can hit Planeswalkers, all right? So if we can get to Delirium, six damage to a Planeswalker, we can actually get rid of an Oko. If somebody resolves an Oko against us, it's quite annoying. Very hard to deal with. Mostly, you kind of just don't deal with it. You try to race it, I guess. But if we, can, if we do run up against an Oko deck the the main thing we're going to try to do to stop the oko is thought sees an inquisition of kozilek to get those okos out of the hand before they play them we also have two counter spells to completely counter the oko or you know or the other planeswalkers to fairies such and you know those kind of things but then we're running four memory laps because we're really more of a tempo deck we're really aggro we're trying to win really fast if it does go to the late game we're probably going to lose so that's why we're only running one expressive iteration here one Croxa, we're, we're keeping the stuff that is, um, you know, no Fable of the Mirror Breaker, we're running Lurus. You could um, have a transformational sideboard where if you know the game's going to go a bit later, you can take out Lurus and put in Fable of the Mirror Breaker, or take out Lurus as a companion. I guess you could put Lurus in the main deck. Um, but yeah, you know, Lightning Strike, just even Spell Pierce, I'm, I'm off Spell Pierce. It's just like, we get to a point in the game sometimes where Spell Pierce is just a dead card. Um, a lot of people running Drown in the Lock. Drown in the Lock's great. Molten Collapse is great. It's just like, the, at least Drown in the Lock is instant. Molten Collapse being a sorcery in this format. It's like, this is, format is just so fast. Or at least the best of one version that we're trying to win here is so fast. Um, so we're just going to try to get some early creatures on board, deal a ton of damage, close out with Lightning Bolts, maybe a Deathrite Shaman um, doing the Exile Instant or Sorcery to make opponents lose two life. Maybe a croc so we can get them with for three life with that. This is a crazy format. This is the games go fast and they're a lot of fun. You can easily lose to the die roll uh, in this format. If you don't like losing to the die roll, do not play timeless in best of one because that's just going to happen. All right, so 
Deck list, as I said, in the description. Stick around to the very end of the game. We'll talk about what worked, what didn't, maybe any changes that I'm going to make to the deck. And we'll also show you the win rate of the deck, not just the games you saw, but the actual win rate of the deck as I played it. And uh, before we get to the matches, and chapter break to skip ahead if you like, but got to talk about where we're at on subs. It's just been actually, I'm, look, I'm way behind on updating this graphic. We're at 700 and 48 right now just blown away thanks to everybody who's been subscribing there's still a few slots left in the elite first 1000 um really having a hit here with timeless i'm glad you guys are all loving timeless and hitting subscribe on that so um if you like the timeless videos i'm going to keep making them so hit that subscribe of course uh, this is a small channel even if you hit subscribe there's no guarantee youtube's going to show you the videos but um really do appreciate everyone who's hit subscribe and once we get to a thousand hopefully i can be one of those content creators who never has to say hey hit subscribe all right enough of my jabber and you want to see the ultimate grixis can we do it can we have we built the ultimate Grixis win rank up very fast we're playing ranked we're in platinum let's go trying to make the ultimate grixis deck grixis prolixis Okay, we got a threat, we got some defense, we got some card, uh, card advantage, although it's going to be hard to play Brainstorm and crack Polluted Delta and do that trick, but maybe with Mishra's Bobble. Let's keep going. We're off the bat with a Black Leaf, or with a Kumano. I still want to do Dragon's Rage and Chenelar. Watery Grave, I think we will, can, we can go get it with the Polluted Delta, but then this lets us do the Brainstorm crack a fetch thing, so I'll, I'll keep it. Let's see what opponent, we know they're, they're mono red burn, they're drawing a mountain. So we actually probably want to get the Polluted Delta down so we can go, there we go Bloodthirsty Adversary. So far, they're a standard deck. No blocks. Um, so they're probably Blood Moon. We probably want to be able to get this down. Make sure we can get our colors. Um, we thought sees them first, actually. They've got a Blood Moon. Another Dragon's Rage Channeler. We'll put that in the bin. Powering our Dragon's Rage up. Okay, so no Blood Moon to worry about. We do have Lightning Bolt, play with fire, and reinforce Ronin. Um, I think we're going to spend our Fatal Push on the Bloodthirsty Adversary. So we could just completely take him out of creatures, except they're going to have the Kumano. <clears throat> So, if we put um, if we put an instant in the bin here, go ahead and just get a regular swamp. Oh, actually, that was oh, we didn't put the instant in the bin. Did I miss out. I guess we didn't have a land in there yet. All right, but well, we didn't need to use that. Yet, but that's fine. That puts it out of range of the play with fire, so they'll have to use the lightning bolt on it. Unfortunately, the death right dies to the play with fire. At a certain point, though, we get them out of direct damage. Oh, they're just going face. Aggressive. Most aggressive. Down to six. Lightning Bolt, we would like that, thank you. And we will make sure it ends up in our hand. They're about to get another hasty threat, annoyingly. Uh, I guess we'll pay this, play this as a tap land. I have to attack with Dragon's Rage. Okay, 
land is good. Bloodthirsty adversary. They can't do anything with that. Take out Kumano. Uh, don't need another land. Although it does work nicely with the Brainstorm. No blocks. This is going to be able to gain us life. And... Let's wait. Let's brainstorm first. Let's stay in Mire now. Ooh, we can do Ragavan. So the channeler will block. So let's put Ragavan brainstorm. want to draw the brainstorm so that because we can between the dragon's rage channelers we can surveil away non-dash this attack and what does opponent draw they draw another bloodthirsty adversary okay i guess we got to lose the ragavan They not attack. They don't attack. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, uh, we need green to do that, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not gaining life here. By the Luris. Do we have lethal? No. Yeah. I just hope they can't somehow deal four damage to us. What do they hit? Spike field hazard? Okay, that's not lethal. We will have to jump with the death right, Shaman. But I think that's the game. And let's dash the Ragavan just for fun. Oh, they gave up. Ultimate Grixes! We were down. We were down low. They had us low. Got a little bit lucky with um, them top decking a land there. Begins to plant Mom Ari. We go first. It's always a good place to be. Um. Do we want a Thoughtseize first or Dragon's Rage Channeler first? There's two schools of thought. Okay, well, they've got Deathrite Shaman. They can Thoughtseize us. This is not great. Um, Oko, we can deal with Memory Lapse for a turn. What do we want to do here? I'm inclined to take the death right shaman because they're just going to be able to power out Oko turn two if we don't with the, all the fetch lands. But maybe that is what we should have done. I held up memory lapse. Feels very not aggressive enough though to me. They go fetch. I am. Oh, they don't play. Anything. Okay. Interesting.
What do we got in the yard? We got a sorcery in the yard. I could dash Ragavan. They'll counter it with make disappear. So I guess we're just uh, on the attack with Dragon's Rage Channeler for one plan. Play a Ragavan normally? Fetch. Malcolm, alluring scoundrel. Huh. In fatal push, Malcolm. I'm not super worried about that. More worried about that Oko. They thought seeds. Okay, so there's no Oko coming this turn. Let's go get blue. Might want to preserve our life total. And well, I guess they can memory laps like, or they can make disappear play the bowmasters but maybe that's fine if they make disappear the bowmasters It's a creature in the yard, then we just need an instant in the yard, which we can do with Fatal Push. We'll turn on the Dragon's Ray channel, yeah, okay. Ooh, they take the Fatal Push. Malcolm, would you like to attack? And we draw Bowmasters. That's kind of fun. So, yeah, we'll get in with Ragavan and then we have Memory Lapse. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, okay. Sweating that one a little bit. Well, we did it. Grixis. Ultimate Grixis. So Grixy. Silly rabbit. Grix are for kids. We go first, and we can go get red, so I'm pretty happy with that. Opponent's run. Gigantha is the companion. So busted, the companions. We want red, black, I think. Let's play Dragon's Rage Channeler. We'll probably eat some removal, but that's okay. Lava Glide Pathway. Oh, okay. Hey, Bobble it. Bobblina. Here they go again. Bobbly Gardens. They're going to know what we draw before we do. Are we getting a good card opponent? Probably just want to land. Mm. Okay, opponent's got lots of bobbles. They put a lightning bolt in the bin. Which means they probably have lightning bolts. Get a Ragavan. Okay, so they know we have that Ragavan. 
do we force them? Let's just let's just see what we're up against here. I guess we can't double spell. That was probably bad. We don't have a single blue mana thing. Oh, it's Phoenix. Um, I think we don't want Faithless looting, right? Oh, we just turned on their no attacks. So I have a Phoenix deck. You can go check out my build. I do not run Dragon's Rage Channeler in the build, but maybe Jag Dragon's Rage Channeler is what's needed. That's more all in on Phoenix, and they're running Treasure Cruise as well. I went with more of a Finale and Demi Lich version, so you keep the graveyard for that. And you don't need to fill the graveyard as much. Dragon's Rage. Blood Crypt. Um, yeah, let's pay two life. Pay Sayonara to the Dragon's Rage. Dash the Ragoran. Tapped out. And I guess we got a land there. Darn it. Um, I don't want to play that because then we lose the Ragoran. So no. With the Faithless Looting, put the Arc Light in the bin. They're tapped out. They're at 18, though. Impressive iteration is interesting. Let's see what we get with that. Counterspell or another Ragavan. So let's put Counterspell to hand. Ragavan to library. Exile the mountain. We'll go dashing again. Let's hit like a lightning bolt or I guess a lightning bolt. Consider. We want a lightning bolt in hand or fatal push. Fatal push works. They crack the polluted delta. They have no target for their unholy heat, so they would need. Oh, see, okay, they had nothing to do there. So they don't have enough spells. They are leaving up enough to kill Ragavan, but that's okay because we have more than one Ragavan. So let's just let them kill this one. Or actually, memory lapse that. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. We'll take the Unholy Heat, thank you. And... Play Bobble. Bobbly Gardens. Do they have a Bobble? Bobbles all around. Got land. Shock in, so they're going to play Gigantha. <sighs> now you can, we'll counterspell that. They might just give up at this point. Always the chance they're holding a bunch of cheap spells and they can get their arc light out. This is where we need to be able to pull ahead. Let's see what's in their hand. Uh, expressive iteration will let them kind of chain off. Although we're getting very low now. Man, I'm on the 
pop. Get that tapped. Turn. Gonna hard cast the Phoenix. Okay. I mean. Fatal push. Have to crack the treasure to be able to kill it. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Kind of running out of ammo, but if we don't play a creature here, or I guess we can dash the Ragavan. Eat the unholy heat. Then their chances of getting the phoenixes out of the graveyard are much lower. And if they don't use the unholy heat here. So, do we buy the Lurus? Or do we just put two threats on the board? By the Luris. Sitters, okay. This could be dead. Did they hit a spell? They did. Okay, good game. They lightning bolt our face and then they Phoenix fly us for six. Phoenix is a good deck in this format, a very good deck. Go watch my Phoenix video. I think I might have the better build of it, but we'll, time will tell. As I said, playing Ultimate Grixis. We've got Minsk and Boo as their avatar. You think they're playing the Minsk and Boo deck? Probably not if they go Loris <laughs> as a companion. I don't think you're allowed to. All right, well, uh, opponent goes first, but we do have Ragava. We have Lightning Bolt. Keep this. They play a Ragavan at turn one. Um. So, I think what we need to do, got red, so let's do, we need red though. Let's do black, red. Lightning bolted. They might have another one they're gonna dash, we'll just see. Um. Let's wait until we see if they've got Bowmasters. Immediately cracks the Polluted Delta. This could be a mirror match here. It's the Watery Grave. It plays Ragavan dashed. Yep. <clears throat> well, what did I say about the who loses the die roll? They're Expressive iteration on top. I guess will Ragavan dash and steal that, or would we just hold up Bowmasters? Problem is we need, we would need to hit removal off the top with to, to one of Ragavan dash so that we could move there somehow. Expressively iterates. Blood to the admire. Crack it, no doubt. Mishra's Baobul. Gonna make the Bowmasters better. They Baobul themselves. Okay. 
And they do dash the Ragamon, or they just they straight up play the Ragamon. Interesting. Well, they can't counter the Orcish Bowmaster. There's nothing that counters a creature for one mana. Kill the Bowmasters before it uh, triggers off the bobble is the question. It's like they might. They do. Unholy Heat! Lightning Bolt, good to know. Play the Cliffs. They're completely tapped out. I'd kind of actually like to keep the blue open there. Like, ooh, we get an expressive iteration ourselves, huh? I'll just let it go. Like having lightning bolt and brainstorm held open. All right, opponent got off to an early start, but look, their life totals at eleven or fifteen. <laughs> We're technically ahead on board with the treasure and the. One one army. Well, that could all change very quickly. What is in opponent's hand? Only the most powerful spells and magic. Uh, opponent thinking hard. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. It's a battle of wits. It's the Grixis battle of wits. Thought sneeze. Um. Well, they can't take both bowmasters and lightning bolts, so I think we just let this resolve. We could have brainstorm Ragavan onto the top of our library to protect ourselves. Now they got brainstorm. Interesting. They have another Thoughtsies. Death's Shadow. Okay. Four, four. We're just waiting to see if the coast was clear on that, I guess. My turn. The Bowmaster's here. Probably don't because I've got a chumper with the one one. I've got another bowmasters. Let's buy Luris and pass the turn. The lightning bolter guy? No. To worry about them lightning bolting themselves, or the block and attempt to lightning bolt it. Okay. 
Got that out of their hand. Dash Ragavan first. Unholy Heat. Okay. Guess what? We can replay it. Would we rather just play the Mishra's Bobble? Would we rather play Double Bowmasters? We'll play around memory lapse. Grow your shadow. Oh. We have not yet hit any of our fatal pushes. It did take our brainstorm, which would have helped us get to Fatal Push. I'm going to check in their graveyard. They're going to treasure cruise? Um, okay, we're going to Bowmasters again. Game Skippy, it's a good game. <laughs> yeah. So they were going to take six, and and this was going to get huge. Although I guess their Death Shadow would have been huger. We could have just chumped with a Bowmaster at that point. Nice try, Treasure Cruiser. Playing the ultimate Grixis up against Rasalas. What's that from? Where have I heard that name before? Leave a comment. Remind me where Rasselas is from. Come on. From like... Uh, Arturian Knight literature? We go first. I think we'll turn one Thought Seas, potentially. Or do we turn one Death Rite Shaman? Get their removal out. No, we'll, we'll start to play save cracking the fetch with the fatal push. And we'll put the blue one, because we do have something blue we want to play. Okay, Fragment Reality, Delver, play with fire, Restoration Angel. Fun deck. Like Jeskai Aggro. That's far away. Oh. Fragment is going to definitely kill our one drop creatures. Maybe we take their threat with Delver? Is that crazy? We can deal with Delver with Fatal Push, so. Take the play with fire. They go Delver. And we can... Do we shock ourselves with this? I guess so. Reveal your card, opponent. Yep. So most likely they drew a land. Could have drawn a creature. I played a lot of Delver of Secrets in my day. It's a good mono blue budget card. Need to get those blue quests completed. Uh, yeah, we'll fatal push here. Hopefully the brainstorm is going to find us something uh, useful. Ooh, Bowmasters. Well, a little premature on that, but 
Let's bring a storm. I'm not going to fragment the death right shaman is the question. Not yet. Ooh. All right. So put two cards into the library. They're going to be these uh, shock lands. Doesn't matter. We're going to crack the bloodstain mire. Go get island. Do I have island? Why is it not showing me island? Oh, I can't get island with bloodstain mire. That's why. Mm. So just get to swamp. That's a turn. You can eat their play with fire. Or we can Bowmaster. They're going to Fragment Reality. Um, okay. Resolves. Consider... Boom. See, we've made the right play. Gonna get an extra ping off the Bowmaster. Put a Snapcaster in the bin. And we will expressively iterate. Well, it is sitting on a lot of cards. We about to start to. The Restoration Angel is just a blink. What are they going to be trying to blink? Snapcaster? Shocks in. Ooh. Tempting to Dragon's Rage here. The combat. We have to do we do have to crack, crack the bloodstained mire though. Let's just expressively iterate. See what opponent they might have a counter spell for it or something. One into hand. Let's put Ragavan into hand. Who would we want to have Fatal Push? We've already got threats on the board. I actually think Ragavan goes into the deck. Crazy as that is, but... You son of a... <laughs> Eat your vegetables. Dragon's Rage before the Thought Seas. I'm not going to. Probably kill Bow Masters here. What do do with the... Okay, now they have the Snapcaster Mage. They're going to play with Fire. Okay, now I'm regretting I should have eaten the play with Fire. Oh, they just killed a 2-2? Two -two? Ionize. Um, I think we win a game here.
Would you like to ionize a Inquisition of Kozilek? Land, instant, and sorcery in the graveyard. Memory lapse, no, we we'll draw that. They would like to ionize that, sure. Okay. No tax. Where are you? I guess we do have to worry about the Cave of the Frost Dragon. That turns on once they have six lands. Like Bowmasters is going down. You have Luris, though. Because if they kill Bowmasters, Dragon's Rage immediately becomes a 3 3. So, yes, pre combat, please kill. Oh no, okay. They're just going to let me kill the Snapcaster Mage and make a guy. Don't mind if I do. Geist of Saint Traft. Ooh. That is a problem. We can fatal push the token one time here. I don't have anything to play from the graveyard either, huh? The Lightning Helix. My Luris. Boo-hoo. Nice draw for opponent. They're still gonna attack, huh? Lightning bolt. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that, I guess. An aggressive attack by opponent. Guess they were planning on the 4 4 staying around. Another Geist. Ragavon's great. Yes. Perfect. We'll take a Geist. Thank you very much. And that's the way we drew it up. Hey, opponent, what did you draw? Is it a board wipe? Board wipe would be good, but we still got Ragavan. What is their card? They're not conceding. Soul Partition. Uh -huh. well. Be lethal there. If it wasn't, we had lightning bolt to back it up. Woo! Sayonara, Jeskai Control. Okay, so not bad for my ultimate Grixis, especially considering how many bad punt plays I made. Still, as much as I've played this deck, and I've played this deck more than I've played any other timeless deck, because I've been really trying to refine it, um, I still make bad plays, and I still play into the Bowmasters with the... Uh, bobble and all that stuff. So uh, hopefully you weren't too abusive to me in the comments. Um, but six and four 
for a 60% win rate, which is a very good win rate, uh, especially with stuff like this, it's a coin flip. 57% on the play, 67% on the draw. I would have expected it to be the opposite there. So I don't know, maybe um, I lost some games I should have won, or we um, it just had a weird uh, coin flip thing there going on. But um, against fellow Grixis decks, we split 50%. Sultai, we split 50%. A lot of people playing powerful Sultai cards. Uh, as I said before, uh, Uro and Oko are definite bugaboos for this deck. Um, 100% against Demir. We did lose to an Esper control deck. I, I think that's actually maybe, well, I don't remember that one, but it could have been a four color control that they just didn't see their fourth color. But, but then we should have won, right? So beat mono red, lost to a Phoenix deck. Uh, watch my Phoenix video. Maybe I'll link it on the sidebar here. Uh, win against Jeskai and win against four color control. So. Pretty sweet. I liked it a lot. Um, that's about all I have to say. I didn't make any changes. I felt like maybe we wanted one more fatal push, but the the balance of stuff, maybe we do, do want uh, one spell pierce in there. The balance seemed pretty good. Um, maybe something to eat the graveyard. I was looking at, um, what's that two mana artifact that you tap and you can eat two cards from the graveyard. It's a vehicle. Um, that might have been good against the Phoenix deck if we were running that. But again, all this stuff could be addressed in a sideboard if you're building more for best of three. But we really got we got to see Ragavan run away with the games. We got to see some really good stuff. So thanks for joining me here in the attic. I've been Mana Dad. Check out some more of these other timeless videos. I'm just going to keep pumping them out. Um, anytime I find a really cool build in Timeless, I'm going to make a video. So uh, hit that subscribe. And uh, this is me reminding you that Magic is a game so fun. Even dads can enjoy it. Adios.